am utility blue. I am utility blue. I am utility blue. I am utility blue. Welcome back to another week of Utility Lou. I'm Lou Merloni. I took a week off. I had to go down to Fort Myers, little Red Sox fantasy camp, and I had to start thinking spring training. You run into a few players down there, you see the grass, the baseballs, and you start getting excited. Football season's now over. I know we still got basketball, we still got hockey. Baseball's around the corner. Let's get to your questions. What do you got for me this week? Hi, this is Sharon from Brookline. What's Nomar going to do now that he's retired? Retire. Well, slow down a little bit. This may be a little premature. I know the story came out of San Francisco that he was thinking about it or that it was widely suspected that he was going to. But I talked to Nomar. This guy wants to play baseball. He wants to find the right situation. His body's actually feeling better than it did last year. If the right situation comes up, he will be playing next year. Now, I'm not saying that there isn't a possible retirement in the future. I'm just saying right now it's a little bit early. As far as what will he do afterwards, well, he could get into the media. And believe me, I will be getting on him for turning to the dark side, because he did when I turned to the media. Hey, Lou, this is Craig from Brookline, and I'm just wondering, does a loss on Sunday solidify Brady over Manning? Well, I think it definitely calms down this discussion. Listen, I'm one guy that I don't mind giving props to Peyton Manning. I do think that he is one of the best quarterbacks of all time. And you can put him and Brady together, you can toss him up, and I'm happy having either one of them. But unfortunately for Peyton Manning, if he completes that drive, if he ties the game, if they go on to win, he will possibly go down as one of the best quarterbacks, if not the best quarterback of all time. He throws the pick for six, his team loses, and now Peyton Manning's a quarterback that's 9-9 nine and nine in the postseason. Then the two Super Bowls cost his team one. So I think this continues the conversation between Brady and Manning. Let's see what next year comes, because to me, it's still a toss-up. Hi, this is Sam. I'm here in Coolidge Corner, and I've got a question for Lou. Hey, Lou, do you think the, uh, the Celtics should trade Ray Allen? I know where this is coming from. People are looking at this team. They see that they are old. But look at Ray Allen. He's the healthy one. This guy's played every single game. He's going out there giving 40 minutes. Yeah, KG's banged up. Paul Pierce is banged up. Rasheed Wallace banged up. And to be honest with you, still looks like he's out of shape. It's a good idea, I know, moving forward. I just don't see it happening. You trade a guy like Ray Allen, you're not trying to build for the future. So who's going to take his place? You've heard guys like Kurt Heinrich, Kevin Martin, yeah, they could come in. I just don't see this happen. This team has a window. They need to get healthy. They need to be playing better. Okay, they, they, they say that they're a defensive team. To me, I haven't seen any defense recently. They got to get back to playing Celtic basketball. They got to get healthy. And Ray Allen's a big part of that. Hello, my name is Debbie Alexander. Should we expect any surprises out of Fort Myers this spring? Well, I, tell you, I sure hope not, because to me, a surprise would only be an injury. I don't see really anything happening with this ball club. The big question here is Tim Wakefield. I think throughout spring training, people are going to say, what is his role? Is he in this rotation? Is he in the bullpen? Right now, I can't give you an answer. I don't know what they're going to do with Tim Wakefield. But I know one thing. There's always a spot for Wake in this rotation, in this pitching staff. There is every single year. So are there going to be any big moves? I don't think so. Not real big surprising moves. Is Mike Lowell going to be healthy enough? Are they going to trade him? I think that's inevitable. So are they going to bring in a big bat? No. Are they going to make a big trade? Other than not possibly sending Mike Lowell out for some prospects, I don't think so. Hopefully, it'll be a quiet spring training down at Fort Myers. How you doing, Lou? This is Jared. I have a question for you about how long will it take a middle infield tandem before they're comfortable together? Well, that's what spring training is for. I think when you get two guys and you look at this team like Dustin Pedroia and Marco Scudero, been around the game a long, long time. It won't take long at all. Maybe a week, maybe two weeks. They sit down, they talk about where they want their feeds. The most important thing is what happens on the unexpected plays. The ball up the middle. Marco Scudero, do you usually glove the ball? Do you hand me the ball? Those types of things, they got to get familiar with one another. Or when they charge the ball, where his release point is. Certain little things you want to get to know, but for the most part, like I said, these two guys are professional. They've been in the game now long enough. It's not going to take long. Sit back and enjoy, because they're going to turn some amazing double plays this year. Well, there you have it. Another week, Utility Lou. Keep those questions coming. You can send them to utilitylou at weei.com. Have a great week, everyone.